there's this guy called Robert Malone, who I think I spoke about before, who recently appeared in the Joe Rogan podcast, and he was speaking about an interesting topic called um, mass formation psychosis. And um, he is basically explaining how this is basically one of the side effects he's kind of seeing with this mass hysteria going on with the pandemic at the moment. It's a little bit annoying, um, this whole thing anyway, I think in general, because it feels like if you're an anti-vax or an anti-lockdown person for whatever reason, you become like, um, uh, you become flipping enemy of the state for whatever reason. And I don't necessarily get it. I, I myself am vaccinated. I've got double jabbed. I'm not going to get a booster. I've decided against that, but I've been double vaccinated only because because I thought that that would allow me to kind of live my normal <clears throat> everyday life and allow me to travel and do the things I need to do. Of course, that's not happened. We were kind of sold a dream and things change. It is what it is. But I think the people who at the beginning who were skeptical of the vaccine in general have their reservations. Again, I don't whether or not it's whether or not it's um beneficial or helpful to the overall com for the overall conversation and to how we are basically approaching a pandemic in the west especially considering we're already an individualistic society as it is we can't necessarily put the good of the of the good of the population above our own good right we don't necessarily think about our neighbor first we think of ourselves first and our friends and our family we don't care about our neighbors so because of that i feel like this idea that we can you know this idea that we can do anything other than a vac mass vaccination drive to kind of stem the flow of, of the of the virus is a little bit naive and it's a little bit short-sighted i think we're just not the place for it maybe in places like i said you know or for authoritarian countries where they can essentially weld you into your home you can basically you know enforce mass vaccinations and basically still then you know it doesn't prevent you know people from getting the virus and prevent you from getting different strains it is what it is but that aside this dr robert malone guy he was a little bit kooky a little bit out there didn't agree with most of the stuff that he said but i still think it's important to have that voice out there i think as much as it's important to have dr fauci out there saying what he's saying for the people in the united states i think it's also a handful so for helpful sorry to have people who have the opposite view who are going to offer maybe an alternative view then it's up to the population to decide who they're going to listen to but this idea that misinformation exists i just i just don't understand what the misinformation information thing comes from because it feels like on one side you're allowed to make it feels like on one side you're allowed to say things that might be deemed misinformation or things that might be proven to be wrong later on down the line they never really apologize for them or retract what they say they just continue saying what the new thing is but then on the other side if you say something that doesn't necessarily bode with the general consensus suddenly you then get you know you get silence and this guy robert malone got silenced got kicked off of all the platforms i'm not if i'm not mistaken um essentially which was what brought him to joe rogan i'm assuming because he loves talking to people who don't have a voice in that regard which is good because he gives people a platform but i also think if you generally do think he's harmful this dr robert malone this is not the best way to deal with it. I mean, if you think he's harmful, then silencing him and taking away his ability to share his opinion about the pandemic, especially considering he's a doctor himself, is just dumb. It makes no sense. It just emboldens people who are anti-vax and it makes them more sure that there is a global conspiracy out there, especially with Big Pharma, to silence the voices of people who are approaching COVID or approaching the vaccine with alternative medicines, with alternative um, approaches like working out, going out, get sun, whatever it may be, right? They all think that's they're definitely a conspiracy there where all these kind of social media platforms are in bed with all these big pharma companies in order to kind of silence that so people can keep buying the vaccine in order for those guys to turn a profit that's how people feel like it's going to be and it makes complete sense so but anyway did this guy here um spoke about this mass um what you call it mass formation psychosis i thought it's an interesting point to just highlight i'm going to quickly play the clip and then we move on to some other things from basically european intellectual inquiry into what the heck happened in germany oops quickly play again <clears throat> In the 20s and 30s you know very intelligent highly educated population and they went barking mad um and how did that happen um the answer is mass formation psychosis when you have a society that has become decoupled from each other and has free-floating anxiety and a sense that things don't make sense we can't understand it and then their attention gets focused by a leader or a series of events on one small point, just like hypnosis. They literally become hypnotized and can be led anywhere. And one of the aspects of that phenomena is the people that they identify as their leaders, the ones typically that come in and say, you have this pain and I can solve it for you. I and I alone, okay, can fix this problem for you. 
Okay, then they will lead. They will follow that person through. It doesn't matter whether they lie to him or whatever. The data are irrelevant. And furthermore, anybody who questions that narrative is to be immediately attacked. They are the other. <clears throat> this is central to mass formation psychosis, and this is what has happened. We had all those conditions. If you remember back before, 2019, everybody was complaining. The world doesn't make sense. Blah blah blah. Um, and we're all isolated from each other. We're all on our little tools. We're not connected socially anymore, except through social media. Um, and then this thing happened, and everybody focused on it. That is how mass formation psychosis happens, and that is what's ha happened here. So yeah, fairly, um, fairly interesting point. I think for most of us to kind of ruminate on again doesn't matter if you believe or you agree with his points when it comes to covid or if it comes to the vaccinations again i don't necessarily agree with it i still think the best way to deal with this crazy virus that we're all kind of suffering from is to make sure most people are vaccinated but i also don't think vaccinations is a one-size-fits-all thing i think there's people who are being negatively affected by it are being negatively affected by it whether or not it's anecdotal evidence or not there are reports of people suffering some ill effects from the vaccine um obviously ill effects generally it feels like from the lockdowns from industries closing so there's no denying that there are some negatives associated with the kind of um general approach when it comes to dealing with the pandemic definitely 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 we can't can't deny that but to suggest that there is a way to get the majority of people um inoculized or the majority of people safe that kind of requires taking ivermectin or cold plunge bath isn't safe cold plunge baths like jurgen's doing and shit i just don't think it's logical it doesn't really make any sense doesn't it's not practical isn't scalable just doesn't make sense in, in the long term do you know what i mean long-term vaccines work um they might not be working at best now because maybe the vaccine was rushed i don't think anyone can deny that either um considering the amount of people that were dying around the world all at the same time it makes sense that some you know governmental science vi virus divisions whatever they may be maybe skirted the rules and jumped over a few more red or cut the bit of red tape in order to get the vaccine rushed and approved i'm sure that did happen but let's be honest too that is the best approach that we have at the moment we don't really have any other, other approach i just also the only other thing i'm just annoyed about is just the other approaches when it comes to lockdowns and stuff i think those have been demonstrably destructive um the positive benefits of it the positive benefits of it are really really minute especially in the grand scheme of things you know especially with people's mental health we still haven't kind of understood exactly how that's impacted people i had my small little scare at the beginning of the year where i was feeling really down in the dumps and i can only imagine and again i feel i feel like i'm a fairly strong willed person so i can only imagine the people out there who aren't as strong as i am who maybe don't necessarily have the ability to maybe deal with things like the way that i do or just are just unlucky in life in it how they've been dealt with it and how they've been dealing with it so to think that those solutions are the best thing to do and just to kind of kind of enact those restrictions willy-nilly and let people suffer is just not fair really i think we just need other approaches going forward and hopefully we are going to go see them soon or hopefully we will see them soon in the future and that's the only hope you can have in that one